Hundreds of people have said their final goodbyes to murdered Brisbane mother Hannah Clark and her three children. Live now to Brendan Smith. Brendan, the funeral has just ended. It has Danica, Aaliyah, Trey, Leana and Hannah made their final way from the church just before all buried in the same coffin. Their family, friends and loved ones said their final goodbyes today. We also saw Prime Minister Scott Morrison, Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk and, Dep and LNP leader Deb Frecklington all paying their respects to the four innocent lives that were so tragically taken. We know that they were murdered in Camp Hill last month by Hannah's estranged partner and the children's father. He was waiting for them while they were on a school run and attacked, dousing their car in petrol and setting it alight. This crime has absolutely rocked the Australian community and, of course, the Clark family, who are still coming to grips with this tragedy. Hannah's brother, Nat, spoke earlier at the funeral. Here's a little of what he had to say. We weren't brother and sister. We were friends. You're so amazing, Han, and it's no wonder that your kids were just the same. There's too many great stories to tell about you, Han. We got to share so many beautiful moments together. And I'm so grateful for that. Now, Hannah was in a domestic violence situation. She left her ex-partner for a better life for her and her three children. And this has really opened up the conversation again surrounding domestic violence and what more can be done for domestic violence victims and perpetrators. Hayley Foster was on Sky News earlier. Here's what she had to say. And the federal government is throwing only around a hundred million dollars across the nation at this problem. That's you know, if you break that across the uh, you know, up across the jurisdictions, that's around ten million dollars per jurisdiction for one of the biggest problems facing uh, Australian women and children. Um, so we we would challenge um, the very notion that we're throwing enough resources at this problem. Now, a statewide committee will meet at the end of the month, Danica, really nutting out exactly what needs to be done with domestic violence here in Queensland and nationally as well. We, of course, have heard about the new charity that is being launched in Hannah and her children's honour, which is called Small Steps for Hannah. It's hoped that will be a lasting legacy for the four and help other people in domestic violence situations. Yeah, certainly a very difficult day. Brendan Smith, appreciate the update. Thank